It is game day. Game day. Mario Brothers is now out and in theaters. Uh, we went to, God, guys, honestly, I cannot remember. I cannot remember how long it's been since I've been to a midnight screening. <laughs> yeah. It's it's because they just don't do them anymore. They moved them from midnight up to like 7 a.m., but this one is like, woo, went all the way back to 12.01 a.m. On the day it came out, unbelievable, went to a midnight screening, could not believe how many kids were there. At a midnight screening on a mm -hmm. school. Is it a school night or do, do does grade school have spring break? I think it's spring break. It depends because some kids are in, some are out. Okay, well, there, there you go. Good reason for it. But man, there were like little kids. And for a midnight screening in Ontario Mills, California, <laughs> my goodness, that was, it was packed. It was packed and people were cosplaying it up and all this kind of stuff. And listen, the audience we watched it with, they were having a good time. Yeah. They were having a good time. Every time some kind of cameo or Easter egg or musical notes, that was big, was the musical notes. You would hear the whole audience go, yeah, or, or you know, all that <laughs> yeah, kind of I, stuff. I, right? There's some deep cuts in there that I flew there over There were some my really head. deep cuts. Yep. Because there were even moments where something would happen on screen and you hear like a bunch of people in the audience go, yeah. And I'm like, and what? I'm like what happened? What was it? I, I, even I, I mean, I grew up playing these games. I had no idea what, what it was they were oohing and on with. All right, so what did we think about the Super Mario Brothers movie? Here's my basic two cents, and we also put up our right out of the theater reaction that you can find on the channel right now. But to expand on that, it's, it's basically this. This movie is quite enjoyable. I had a very good time watching it. It had all the things that you were really wanting it to have. Nostalgia, a lot of great things, you know, those, those uh, Leonardo DiCaprio moments where you're recognizing this stuff and it just uh, my wife Anne, i kid you not on two separate occasions as i turned to my left to look at Anne, she had tears coming down yeah, her face I, was, I noticed that too <laughs> yeah that she was so happy was like, why are you crying it made her so happy watching this right like she was just in tears watching this stuff and like you could hear it in the audience and all that kind of stuff and all that was there the music is fantastic the voice performances I actually was, I was afraid about a couple of them. I actually ended up enjoying the voice performances a lot. Um, I, the, all the references, the way they tied different elements of the different games into their story. All that was great and enjoyable, and I had a good time. In a thumbs up and thumbs down world, Super Mario Brothers for me is a double thumbs up. That said, I can't help but compare it a little bit to the Lego movie. Which, the Lego movie was another movie that had a lot of those things. The nostalgia of playing with these things, the types of creativity we would use as children, making Lego blocks and all that kind of stuff. But within the process of making the Lego movie, they put in a really compelling and emotional story. There, there was so much beautiful story in that. What really came down to is, it, really the movie was about Will Ferrell and his son. And that whole notion of trying to capture something and to, instead of letting it grow, develop, and, and even rediscovering that part of ourselves, the part of ourselves that had imagination and awe and wonder, there was a really good story in the Lego movie. And unfortunately, that is not in the Super Mario Brothers movie. And I don't know if that has something to do with the fact that Again, we had two directors that have never directed or like the only only one of the two of them have ever directed a feature film and that feature film was Teen Titans Go to the Movies. Um, so I don't know if it had something to do with that. I don't know if it had, they were just solely focused on getting as many of those great moments in there. Like this thing, when he goes into that castle, when Luigi finds that castle, oh man, people were so happy. Like all that stuff that was going on when the shy guys showed up, yep, the was... cheers. You know, maybe they're just focused on giving those great moments for the audience. And look, at the end of the day, I say this all the time, movies are experiential events. They're experiential events. And at the end of the day, when I walk out of a movie, I'm not asking, were the jokes funny? I'm not asking, was the story deep? My first question I ask myself is, did I have a good experience? Did this movie deliver a positive experience? And there are certainly things you can put into your movie that will enhance the chances of giving you a better experience. A really good story is one of them. But none of those elements are absolutely essential, right? Because you might miss one or two big elements, 
like a good underlying story, but have a lot of the others that still manages to deliver a good experience. So and listen, I've been saying this too. I've been saying that I believe that Super Mario Brothers, the movie would be the number one box office movie of the year. But I also said, mm -hmm. I have to get back to you on that until I see it. Like, I, cause I don't know if it's going to be good enough to do that. All that kind of stuff. I said, all the things being even Super Mario Brothers will end up being the number one box office movie of the year. Now that I've seen it, I can tell you it will not. It's, it's just not good enough that it's going to, number one, get people raving to their friends to go and see it, and number two, returning to the theaters themselves. I mean, obviously, there'll be some people who will, but returning to the theaters themselves to see it four or five times. So, uh, yeah, I no longer believe after seeing that will be, but I still enjoy it. I think you should see it too. Ray, right, right, you I, saw I, it with me there last hold night. Hold on, I had a question before I go into that. Um, just like Uncharted, and remember, we saw that PlayStation Productions the, the first time we saw yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was this Nintendo's first real dig at Hollywood because well, we saw that Nintendo intro. Yeah. That's so, the first time I've ever but seen it. They're not the production studio. Yeah, but right? we still saw that little thing yep. in the beginning. This is the first time because Illumination to, behind the Minions movies and stuff like that. They're the, the company that made the movie, but it's in partnership with Nintendo. This is the first time Nintendo has dipped their toe into the feature film market since the utter disaster of the Bob Hoskins Super Mario Brothers movie right. back in, when did that even come out? 90-something. 92? 90-something. Uh, 92, 93? Oh, I thought it was 80s. But I, I, yeah, it was you know what? It probably is the 80s. It's probably even over, older than that. So it, this so is the first time they've done it. It's, and, a, it's a good... It's a good it, if if it's this is the first thing they branded for a long time in, in Hollywood, it's it's good. It's, it's a good, good freshman enough. effort. Um, the length of the movie, I enjoyed. <laughs> yeah, 130 hour 30. minute, an hour and a half. Um, the, the, the animation... Was, was great. The animation was fantastic. You got views of Mario that you never thought you'd see. Even when uh, 64 came out and you got that 3D Mario, you saw like points of views from his vantage point. Right. That were really cool. Um, I When we gave our review last night, I was really tired. I mean, we got well, It was 2.15 in the morning. 2.30 a.m. <laughs> I found myself yawning on the back end and maybe I discredited that. When I woke up today, I said, man, I really like Mario. So it was a good movie. Um, it's very no nostalgia driven. Huge nostalgia. Uh, it's going to make all its money this weekend. The All its money is going to be done this weekend. There's not going to be anything because everyone's going to go see it who loves Mario. But here's the thing. Unlike um, Dungeons and Dragons, which opened last week and then had Mario opening after it. I don't think Mar I don't think there's anything huge opening next week, is there? I also I don't Taylor, think if you can look that up. I also don't think. Uh... I don't think we're going to get like a 70 some percent drop like Ant-Man. No, uh, no, because no, no. Here's the thing, though. There's the fans, but kids, man. No, the kids, the kids are going to line are, up for this they're gonna thing. They're going to keep coming. They may even want to go back or take their friends. So I think maybe a 50 percent drop, but not 60, 70. So, yeah. so where so, this movie works for kids is it's really short. Yeah, it, it, it hits all the it's happy colorful, feels. It's funny. And all the kids in our in our in our screening loved it. It seemed like they're awake by the time it ended, which yeah. was great to me. I mean, kids are going to eat this stuff up. What do you got, Taylor? Uh, so next week on the 14th, there are three movies opening, all three of which I'm very excited for, but I don't think they're going to compete with Mario. We have Renfield, The Pope's Exorcist, and Mafia Mama. <laughs> I have, oh, the, oh, I totally I forgot know, I about that movie. That coming up next week. I totally forgot about that. That's, uh, that's, um, uh, uh Kill Bill. What's that? No, no, no. Uh, oh, I thought it was the Kill Tony Collette. Tony oh, Collette, sorry, thank sorry, you. Sorry. I am so uh, torn on that. There was there were scenes I'm like, okay, I get what they're going for. And then there are scenes where I'm like, mm. I, 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 I am interested in that. I am super excited, though, for what was the first one you mentioned Renfield. there? Renfield. I am very excited for Renfield. Every trip. But anyway, so I, I think you're right. I think Mario is number one at the box office again next weekend. Okay. I don't think any of those will catch it. But how much of a drop will it take? Not really sure. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Did you have a chance to see the Mario Brothers movie? If so, what did you think of it? It's not getting the best critic reviews, and I can see why, but I enjoyed it, man. I, it gave me a really delightful time at the theaters. Not as good as I was hoping it would be. I don't think it's going to be the biggest box office movie of the year anymore, but I think you should go see it. Anyway, whatever you guys think about it, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, 
HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip the trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. And there's no worries if you're not a pro in the kitchen. HelloFresh's foolproof recipes arrive pre-portioned and easy to prepare in just a few steps. You'll be feeling like Gordon frickin' Ramsay in no time. And guys, look, we're always looking for more ways to save money. HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% cheaper than takeout. I've told you guys before, Anne and I love using HelloFresh. Not only is it really easy to put together fantastic looking and tasty meals, but it's also a lot of fun and you get this really great sense of accomplishment when you're looking at this prepared dish that you've made with your own hands. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 and use the code Campia50 for 50% off plus your first box ships free. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia50 and using the promo code Campia50 for 50% off your first box ships free. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.